YouTube, how you doing? I'm not one of the best, but I will be one of the first here to show you a review on the McFarlane DC Multiverse, the Joker from the White Knight series. As you can see, I am a huge, huge McFarlane toy collector fan. I am riding the coattails of McFarlane hard body. I am not playing online to you. I have almost every figure of the DC Multiverse so far. I'm just waiting on two more pre-orders. The Batman is coming on Tuesday and the Azrael coming on Tuesday and the Superman animated series. So far I have every one of them. I also collect My Hero Academia. Got my boy Bloodshot right here. And if you can see in the back, I have Doom. And I got him just because he looks cool. Just like McFarlane said, you might not even be a fan of the video game, you might not be a fan of the movie, but when you see these figures on the shelves, on the pegs, you're gonna get them because they look cool. And that's exactly, exactly what I did. So without further ado, let me get into this review real quick because I am boring, I am very lackluster, and you're not going to watch me ever again, I promise you. <laughs> In case you want to know about the, the Mortal Kombat um, figures, I do have those also. As you see, they come in this nice, nice packaging. He spared no expense with the packaging. Yes, I'm outdoors on my terrace. They come with a trading card, and every one of the McFarlane figures come with a stand. Let's, let's start off with the card and the stand. My card. There goes a the trading card right there. As you see a front image of Joker right there with um, Batman right behind him. You want to read up on that if you can see that. Pause it right there and read up on it. Okay, so that's one accessory. And then of course the stand is the other accessory. If I can get it out the box, because why not fail on YouTube? Because said these figures are literally, literally not for kids. These are for the adult collectors. I'm an adult collector. 40 years old. I'm 40 years old. I look like I'm younger, but I'm 40. I collect figs, and I love it. That's where my money goes. As long as the rent's paid, right? As you can see, Joker comes with... This nice super cool gun. Look at that. That is nice. Kind of reminds me of the Michael Keaton uh, movie. Where Joker pulled out that long gun from his pants. <laughs> he shot Batman right out of the sky. <laughs> uh, we're not going to talk about long guns coming out of nobody's pants ever again. And this will be the last time you see me or hear me fighting for some head. <laughs> oh, give me that head. There we go. Got me some head now. All right, so here, the Joker's extra head that he comes with. The smiling face. I guess before he um, fell into the goop and blames Batman for the rest of his life. Can you see that? I know you can see my ashy hands, but can you see that? All right, let's put that down. And now, the main event. Jack Napier. Napier. Napier, Nap Napier, whatever you want to call him. The Joker, skinny legs and all. So you know when it comes to McFarlane, he will be a little bit of a difficult figure to stand up. But let's see if he works out for us. No, nope, he's working. He's working. There it is. The Joker and all of his accessories. I did that in one in one shot. How about that? How about that? I don't have not one problem with this Joker. I don't know nothing about the White Knight series, but I'm buying all the McFarlane figures. I don't care. I'm very, very happy that he's making figures of characters that we've never seen before. I don't know nothing about this cartoon right here at all, but look at the detail. Look at the detail in, his, in him. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. McFarlane spares no expense, and then he keeps the figures at a $20 price point. 
so everybody can collect. That's what I like. You don't have to worry about um special editions and all the stupidity with um. Oh, we're failing here. We're failing on YouTube Live. We are failing, and we're gonna keep it just like that. We failed. Two boxes down. As my lovely wife in the background is trying to pick them up without being in sight. She's gonna hand me one at least. Sugar Rocky from um My Hero Academia. He's gonna be a part of the review. We're gonna leave the other one on the floor. We already failed, who cares? This is just so y'all can see what's going on with the Joker. All right, I failed with the other Joker, who I do have. So we're gonna do a comparison with that. Um, I don't like doing YouTube videos, too much BS. But here's the other Joker. So you got both Jokers in frame right here. Let me move this trading card. Let me move the gun, move his head. Both jokers right there on the stand, right there for you guys. Like I said, I am outdoors on my terrace, having some fun. I said, you know what, let me not let me not be lazy this time. Let me show these people the Joker, and they'll never watch me ever again. But that's okay. That's okay. All right, so we're going to do some comparisons. We're going to put up some other McFarlane's on here. Yes, this is the Chase Batman making his appearance. The Chase, blue and gray Batman. Also, we have... All Might! Right here we got All Might. He's he's joined the party in his regular outfit. That's the Silver Rage outfit. Okay, in case you wonder why I have two All Mights. Then, the man who I had to pay the markup on on Makari, Spawn. Oh yeah, McFarland, you are getting all my money. You're not even seeing most of it. And, of course, we're going to compare him to other figures. So, let's do that right now. Let's do the comparisons. If you want to see all the points of articulations videos and all that other stuff, don't watch me. Watch The Amazing. Watch Rodimus Prime. Watch those people. Those guys are the best. I'm not into all that. Um, watch the review spot. One of my favorites. Watch the review spot. But don't watch me. Okay, I'm here for just to keep it real. Show you what's up. And give you my little input. But I will show you some articulation. Okay, you got the butterfly joints. The legs go all the way, all the way up. They go all the way down. 360 the head turns all the way around okay of course it does pop off i'm not going to pop it off um the jacket it's soft it's not removable but it is soft so you can bend him that much forward okay you can bend him that much forward he got a little bit of an ab crunch but not okay he goes now I w that i'm pushing it right there i'm pushing it I'm pushing it with the skinny people. They have um, certain things that you should do and not do, and I'm not gonna do it. Okay, the pre-orders are all sold out. I'm happy I got mine. McFarlane figures can mostly all do a full split, as you can see. He's got, he can go side to side, like he's doing some, uh, like he's doing a little workout. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. No thigh, no thigh swivel. I don't like the thigh swivel. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, people's thighs can't do that. He is double jointed knees. His foot can touch the, his back can't touch his butt because his butt is too flat to reach but he can touch his back it's actually a nice outfit look like he wearing an adidas outfit it's kind of cool but yeah this is your boy joker he's looking great let's put the gun in his hand i told you don't watch these reviews these are the most boringest reviews you will ever see that's why i don't do them but i do do one minute videos on instagram okay i'm gonna pop my name up on the screen of course a couple of times Let's put that right there. Got his finger in there. Okay, now that's accurate. His finger is on the trigger. He's holding that gun nice and proudly. Ready to shoot your boy. So let's compare him to the other Joker from the 1000 comics. Or the, Ar or the Arkham Asylum. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let's bring this down real quick. As you can see, they stand they stand right up to each other most likely. Most, most mostly. Um, this Joker is a little bit taller. Like an inch taller. Let's put him to the back here. We're gonna bring in the Chase Batman, who should definitely be taller than Joker. And he is. He is, he's about an inch taller, because that's the way it should be. Move him to the side. Now we're gonna bring in All Might, in case you wanna do some crossovers, or you know, you wanna have a McFarlane war. Have all your McFarlane characters in one thing. All Might is actually standing exactly the same height as the Joker. He's just bigger, from my view, it's only about a little bit, but on, t but on the TV, it's gonna show you a little bit bigger from my camera. It looks like All Might is very much taller, like a, about an inch or so, but he's not. 
he stands right up to the Joker. If you talk about from the top of the head to the top of the head, he stands right up to the Joker. Now, size him up next to Spawn. Spawn, who is going to be coming out with a new one, is going to be coming out with a mace. And you're going to be having a target version that's going to be coming out with an axe. Keep Look out for those. Okay, I don't have even one of those, but just look out for them. Okay, spawn, spawn a little bit taller. Now we're going to size him up next to NECA Predator. Because yes, I do collect NECA and they size up nicely with McFarlane. Seven inches, seven inches, that's how you get it. That's how most people like it, seven inches. You know, let's not even complain about it. Let's not lie about it. Seven inches is the way to go this year. It's 2020. Seven inches are nothing. Now, we're going to compare Joker, Joker, and a six-inch custom Prince Devitt, as you know him as WWE's Finn Balor, Joker. There you go right there, y'all. All right, holla at me on Instagram, NY Backyard Legend, the original Ballad guy. I follow back. You do that pseudo following stuff, I will block you and I will blast you. Okay? Don't follow me, and then you're gonna, and then a couple of days later or weeks later or months later, you unfollow me. I do giveaways. I'm broke. Okay? I do I do giveaways. I'm a part of a of a nice little group called the Figuration. I'm a part of another group called Team Believe, so you better believe I will give you some good stuff. All right? Later, y'all. Until the next one, if I do another one. Remember, go back on that um, Mortal Kombat one in case you're um, hungry about that. I might do one about Bloodshot. I don't know. Probably not. I'll probably do that for IG. So remember, NY, back y'all legend, y'all. Later.